Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. I kind of forgot the subtitle there for a minute. Last time I left off, we, uh, well, we see, we have a new witness. Her name is Melissa Foster. But she looks a lot like the devil woman we encountered in the very first case of this game. I wonder what's going on here. In any case, supposedly, supposedly, she saw the whole thing and whatever, so well, we're going to hear her testimony about it. I, um, I was using my camera to take some pictures of wild flowers. And then I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Suddenly, they just started fighting. That's when I hurried and took the photo that just shows the crucial moment. And right after that, I called the police. Hmm... By the, way, by the way, where were you standing when the incident occurred? I believe the map would be of help here. Um, I was standing right over here. I was standing in a beautiful field surrounded by tall cliffs. So you took the photo from that location, eh? I brought the camera when I was using it at that time, just like Mr. Adjo asked me to. Ho ho ho! What a cute camera. Just like its owner. Okay, old man's a pervert. Alright then, Miss Faye. Time for your cross-examination. But I warn you, make the witness cry again and you'll feel the wrath of my gavel. Oh god, I hate her so much. Not me, uh, this woman right here. Alright, well, there was actually a statement I could actually present evidence on. And, uh, kind of caught me a little off guard here. She said that, um, they started fighting and she took the photo that shows a crucial moment. Now, see, I don't understand that because according to the photo, this doesn't look very crucial to me. It looks like they're just standing there. I don't know. Doesn't seem anything big. Attention! Witness, when you say you took a photo of the crucial moment, is this what you mean? Um, all I can see in this photo are two people facing each other. You testified that you saw the two of them starting to fight. Normally, it's the kind of thing we refer to as a crucial moment. Why haven't you presented a photo like that? Well, you see... The photo we presented was only one there was. But if you really wanted to capture a crucial moment, then what happened next? You must have taken a photo of it! Hmm... Hmm... Don't! What do you say? What? Homer Simpson? What? Er, um, my apologies, young lady. But, Miss Face Assertion is not without a certain amount of merit. He can certainly downplay the situation, can't he? I'm sorry. I'm a very bad girl. I, um, uh, I used it all up. The, the film, I mean. You ran out of film? Uh, this photo was the last one. What? Unfortunately, that is the truth. I personally examined all the photographs she took that day. All the other photos are the witness herself playing among the little wild flowers. The witness herself? Then who took the photos? Well, you see, my camera has a timer feature built into it. So you took photos of yourself? That's not really surprising nowadays. Hmm, I remember taking some photos of myself once too. Please, no details! Yeah, we don't want any one of those scandals we keep hearing about nowadays. It seems that Miss Faye's assertion was not so decisive after all. Wait! Just a minute! Well, if she had no film left, she couldn't very well take more pictures, eh? Miss Foster, perhaps then you could tell us more about a different sort of photo? Photos of the incident that you took with your very own eyes? Mr. Edgeworth, you're quite the poet. Very well then, let's get back to cross-examination here. Let's hear your thoughts on the fight that you witnessed. Yes, Mr. Judge. Boy, this guy is really a sucker for sweet talk. Ha! <laughs> it looks like the other kitten in the room is the only one that's gotten all the attention. Yeah, it's sickening. Sure is. So, she says I was using my camera to take some pictures of wildflowers, that sucks. Hmm... Let's see. Okay, here's a new one. She tried around. She turned around <clears throat> and tried to run away, but 
She only got about 10 yards before she was stabbed in the back. 10 yards? Oh, hold on a minute here. We got another thing going on. The thing is, <clears throat> as you see on most of these photos, they also give like kind of yard percentages here. Now, a good portion, as you can see on the left of the photo there, it says 5 yards, and that's a huge portion right there. And she said she got but only 10 yards before she was stabbed in the back. I don't think she would have been on the bridge at all anymore if she 10 yards had passed. Addiction. Witness, your testimony is a joke. Huh? But... what? But I... I just... <clears throat> Miss Faye, I thought I warned you not to make the witness cry. One short testimony and two bad contradictions. There's no possible excuse. You say there were two contradictions? It's simple. Just take a look at the diagram of the area. According to her testimony, the two of them are in the middle of the bridge. But if they were, and the victim had turned around and tried to run, well then, she... she would have hit a dead end. Oh, I actually had a different search in them. I thought a 10 yards definitely would have been... I forgot the victim was standing on that side. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. You said 10 yards, but she couldn't have even run 5! Because Dusky Bridges collapsed on that side! What? Oh, she got him there. Her there, yeah, she, yeah, whatever. What does all that mean? It's very simple, Your Honor. This charming little witness told a charming little lie. That's all there is to it. The, ugh. This beautiful young lady has been lying to the court? Just a moment, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth! Your Honor, allow me to personally apologize for the confusion. What do you mean? There's one major mistake in this diagram. What, do you, what did you say? What are you referring to? It's all because this diagram was made after the incident occurred. It's a very old bridge. We couldn't find any official blueprints of it. So you're saying... Saying that even though this bridge is currently in this repair? There's no evidence that she can prove the bridge was broken during the incident. Th that's ridiculous! You can't actually tell the condition of the bridge from this photo. I apologize to the court for not being more clear when I presented that evidence. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Ha! That guy's good. Huh? What do you mean? He planned it from the beginning. He's a genius, alright. That diagram of the bridge was his insurance policy. What? That coward! Well, Miss Fay, it seems you're once again made a reckless accusation. I'm so sorry. I should have been more careful myself. No, 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 no! It wasn't your fault at all! Now then, shall we go on to trial? I'd like to establish, once and for all, what it was that the witness actually saw. Indeed. Alright, young lady, may I ask you to please proceed with your testimony? But I... it's so hard to go on. And we're all on your side, Miss Foster. There's no need to worry. Just tell us what you saw. Yes, sir. I want to punch that woman. Running from the crime. After he stabbed her in the back, he quickly picked her up, picked her up in, in his arms. Then he carried her over in the, to the car. I suppose that was the only way he could sure, make sure the body stayed hidden. He couldn't just leave the body on top of the bridge. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm only supposed to talk about what I saw. Hmm. Witnessing such violence must have been very difficult. Yes, sir. I'm still shaken up. If he accepts his testimony as is, we're finished. D don't say that! Oh well, maybe I'll stop off at my favorite cafe on the way home. They make a really great mocha latte. They make a really great mocha latte. This trial isn't over yet! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Alright, Miss Faye, your cross examination, if you please. The contradiction is staying in your right in your face, Mia. Go on the attack!
All right. Hmm. So, there is a contradiction that we saw kind of blatantly. She says that it was probably only when she could, the body could stay hidden if she if he hit her in the trunk. However, once again, if we look at the bridge, I don't know. It seems like there are a lot of places that he can possibly hide the body. You got bushes, you got cliffs, you got the river. I, I would think that's probably a good, any of these good places would be a better way than hiding in the car. Attention! A killer not wanting his victim to be found. I can understand that. However, the idea of moving the body from that purpose is clearly odd. There was a much easier way to make sure the body wasn't found. Well, what is it? Take another look at the map of the area and you'll see how. There's a river right below the bridge. Earlier, Mr. Edgel pointed out something interesting about the river. And it's very powerful, has a very powerful current. And he said most bodies have fallen or never recovered. There you go. Ah! In the kidnapping case five years ago, the victim's body was carried away and never found. If ten murders were to occur at that same spot above the Eagle River, you can bet your boots that every other killer would have tossed the body in the water! It's very true. Order! 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 I'm not sure if I care for the way you put that, Miss Faye. But I must admit, it does seem odd not to have thrown a body into the river. Oh! Well, Mr. Edgeworth? <sighs> How sad. Perhaps Miss Faye would do well to try taking a dip to the river herself. After all, you claim to be such an expert in the ways of nature. What are you talking about? My point is that no matter how odd you may find the killer's method of body disposal, the fact is that this is this is what the killer did. None of your arguments have anything to do with what the witness saw. Hmm. Quite true. Miss Faye, it seems that your assertion is, is without merit after all. But what the witness claims to have seen is totally ridiculous! Surely you can't deny that the body was found in the trunk of the car. That's certainly consistent with what the witness has told us. Ugh. Please, witness, go on with your testimony. I'll try. All you have to do is tell us only what you saw. Otherwise, a mean lady might yell at you again. Who is he talking about? Alright, I'll do my best. Ugh. Okay. Let's see what else there is. The killer broke into the trunk of the stolen car and hid the body in there. Wait a minute. Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. Let's see here. Broke into. Ah, I don't think that's right. I'm gonna go ahead and present this. Attention. Well, Miss Foster, it looks like you've done it this time. Uh, done what? Made a crucial mistake. A crucial mistake? Like what, Miss Faye? The killer broke into the trunk of the stolen car and hid the body in there. You're saying you saw that, right? With your very own eyes? Yes. And? It's simple, Miss Foster. Take a look at that diagram. The place you claim to have taken a photo from that day is here. Do you see what I mean? Even if you tried to see the car, this outcropping of rock is directly in the way. Ah! That's right, Miss Foster. From where you were standing, you could have not possibly seen the killer's car. Ah! I admit that the diagram shows a large outcropping of rock. However, it isn't so tall that it would stop her from seeing the car. That's right! It's not high at all! I was able to see his car just fine! I'm so sorry, but that just doesn't wash. I believe it was a witness who presented this as evidence to the court, yes? This is the location the photo, the photo was taken from. Your own photo tells the whole story! Yep, there you go. There's a little bit of a 
on the left side. You can clearly see the left side of the bridge, but the outcropping that was being referred to is really more than a cliff. Ugh! Your view should have been completely cut off by this cliff, but still you claim to have been able to see the killer's car! No! Yeah, that's it. Go Mia! Order! Order in the court! What is the meaning of all this ballyhoo? The hell is that even- what? Your Honor, don't jump to any hasty conclusions. The fact that the escapee fled in a stolen car was reported on the news. After witnessing a murder, I'm sure you can appreciate that the witness was very upset. She must have heard about the stolen car and convinced herself that she saw it. But she was repeatedly warned about stating about before stating starting her testimony. She was told to testify only what she saw with her own eyes. Hmm. Oh. Uh, Mr. Judge. What is it? I think. I think I must have remembered things wrong. Hey, wait a minute! You can't just say that! Objection. Miss Faye, no one on the face of the planet is perfect. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Quite true! You know what they say. To err is human, to forgive divine. I'm inclined to give the benefit of the doubt to, the to our witness here. What? That's not fair! Yeah, I don't think this matters anymore. Ha! <laughs> Save the tears for later, kitten. Mr. Armando! Don't look back until the trial is over. Now's the time to go forward. But... But that wasn't fair! Okay, kitten. You need to relax. They need to remember. The other kitten's testimony. Okay. So tell us. How did you know that? How did you know that he broke into the trunk? Aha! Until you explain how they, you knew that, you're gonna have a lot of very suspicious people on that on this side of the courtroom. Very true. Well, witness. Well, I'm certain that he broke into the trunk because because there were marks left in the trunk lid. I'm certain there were scratch marks from when he broke into it. What? Let me see that photo. It's true. These certainly look like scratch marks around the keyhole. Where? Oh, oh, I guess I see it. I thought it was just like an emblem for the car, but no, I guess those are scratch marks. Hmm! It's obvious that this trunk has been broken before- broken open. Well, Miss Faye, are you satisfied? The judge is on her side. I can't make any mistakes here. What she just said, is there a contradiction there somewhere? Is there? We'll find out next time, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. See you guys later.